Cupcakes for sale. This week in a Manhattan mall, I held a bake sale, a racist bake sale. We have different prices here. If you're Asian, a buck fifty. If you're white, a buck. If you're Latino or black, 50 cents. That's like not right. You got to be on your goddamn mind. He just closed down. Is the cupcake poison? I didn't come up with this idea. I'd copied what some students had done. They call it an affirmative action bake sale. Why does that have to be shut down? Here at Bucknell University, the administrators shut the bake sale down. The Students' Conservative Club said they just wanted to start a conversation about affirmative action, which does make it harder for Asians to get admitted, but easier for blacks and Latinos. But before much conversation started, they were shut down. So I ran the bake sale so we could see what kind of discussion the Bucknell students missed. I'm what is trying it? to make amends for racism and punish the Asians because they have an advantage. They have such high SAT scores. No, that's not true. Because I, I had an Asian student in my class that was dumb as a cardboard. That's stereotyping. It is stereotyping. That's, stereotyping. that's not right. Affirmative action is supposed to help minorities that have been discriminated against. But Latinos and blacks who saw my sign didn't like it. That, that makes me feel bad because I'm both Latino and black. Should, should I not do this because it might hurt people's feelings? Not yes. only it should hurt people's feelings, but it's just like out of sense of respect. It's very hurtful. It's very demeaning. And America has been a bastion of free speech. Oh, except for a few places like the liberal media, especially ABC News, where I used to work. No, actually, they were pretty good. <laughs> they pretty much let me say most things. The, the real bastion of political correctness and rules against certain kinds of speech has become the American university. I think a university would be a safe haven for free speech. It's supposed to be. A justification for giving teachers tenure was to make sure they could freely express even unpopular ideas. But today, some universities try to ban unpopular ideas. Helping to fight that is a group called FIRE, the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education. They defend students whose speech is shut down by universities. The director of FIRE is Greg Lukianoff. He joins us now with two students whose schools told them, shut up. Kirby Thomas ran that affirmative action bake sale at Bucknell that we showed you being shut down earlier. Hayden Barnes criticized his school for building a parking garage. He said it was environmentally unfriendly. The administrators didn't like that, so they drove him out of school. Hayden, what do you mean they drove you out of school? I was dismissed for disagreeing with the university president about the necessity of a parking deck. I mean, that's all you did? You said, I disagree? Well, I uh, made alternatives uh, known in a letter to the student newspaper, uh, to the student government, and the faculty senate. I also posted a satirical cartoon on my Facebook page. And from this, they called you a clear and present danger. Yes, they did. <laughs> it's totally true. <laughs> Greg Lukianoff? Uh, Hayden's case, I mean, th before working at FIRE, I had no idea. You can get in trouble for the most incredible nonsense on college campuses. And, there, th and I feel like our society is largely in denial about this. Hayden Barnes got kicked out of college for a collage he placed on Facebook criticizing a parking garage. I can't repeat that enough. And if you're already go go that far gone, something seriously wrong has happened in the places that are supposed to encourage free speech, like really brave free speech. And you brought a court case, eventually you, it takes forever, but then you had to graduate from another school. I had to transfer, um, and uh, I'm currently in law school, but it, it has been uh, quite, quite a struggle. And a bad outcome if that's what put you in law school. <laughs> <laughs> Some would Her say that. Kirby, why did you want to run an aff a bakes affirmative action bake sale? Um, our group thinks affirmative action is a really relevant topic, important to talk about, and we just wanted to get a discussion going on our campus. But you oppose race-based affirmative action. Absolutely. Mm. And it is pretty provocative. It is. Um, it's hard to get people talking on a college campus, and when you do something controversial, and um, you know, opposing affirmative action is kind of controversial anyway on a college campus, but... Kind of? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's an understatement. But um, in that context, it really got people talking. But the talk was stopped because within an hour you were shut down. 
Yeah, um, the students who came wanted to talk about it. We had a great discussion going, uh, even agreed on some points about like maybe socioeconomic affirmative action for um, underprivileged students economically. But uh, the university came and they didn't, they didn't want any of that going on. Well, I ran my bake sale so I could hear some of the comments that I assume you would have heard had you been allowed to run yours. And the comments were interesting. At first, people called me racist. Some what is funny to you about that. people who are less privileged? But then some people defended me. You're trying to make a point, right? Right. So yeah, sometimes you got to do things like that to make a point. It's not racist. And people started to think about what affirmative action means. No race of people is worth more than another, or less. Well, isn't, do you believe in affirmative action in colleges? I used to, but I really don't think that it helps. By the end, most people said equality means no affirmative action. Everybody should be treated equally. No matter what race you come from, everybody should get equal the same. So I found that interesting. People went from belligerence to a real conversation, and I guess that's your point. On every major issue that America faces today, I've seen students get in trouble for being on the wrong side of that argument. And you can't have a meaningful dialogue if people have to fear punishment for having, the, having an opposite opinion. And these bake sales have been shut down not just at your school, but at UCLA, William & Mary, UC Irvine. Yep. Most schools these days do allow them. They yes. wised up. Yeah, uh, uh, they, they started back in 2003, and the first six that, they, uh, uh, that, that were held, um, universities found all these different excuses for shutting them down, basically coming down to the fact they didn't like the message. Um, and these, there, there's been at least three dozen of these protests, and I think actually many, many more o over the years. Um, but Bucknell is, is just standing firm. That kind of like the, well, the Bucknell just last night sent me an email. State and federal laws prohibit discrimination. Yeah. The university believes in upholding the law. There's no just kidding clause mm -hmm. in the law. So dis price discrimination is discrimination. Yeah, I, I, and I, I love this argument that Bucknell's standing by because um, it, it's clearly a symbolic protest. There's no, nobody denies that. And there are these things called gender gap, uh, uh, gender gap bake sales across the country where um, women get charged less than men to protest the, uh, the, the, the gap in pay between men so and women. So a feminist group complaining about the so-called pay gap yep does the same thing. And they never get shut down. Is it just conservatives who get shut up? You know, definitely you are much more likely to get in trouble if you have a socially conservative point of view on campus. But in my experience, and FIRE has come to the defense of people all over the political spectrum. We've certainly had cases where we've had to come to the defense of PETA at a school in Florida where an administrator just said, you, I, I liked her honesty, that she actually came out and said, you can't table for PETA because I don't like that group. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I would think most of the time they would say, we want to have a civilized mm -hmm. discussion. We want our campus to be a kind place. Right. If students feel oppressed, they won't learn. Mm -hmm. and that sounds reasonable. It sounds very nice, but freedom of speech and academic freedom and meaningful discussion is a deadly serious business. And if you limit it only to what people are comfortable with, then you end up shutting any meaningful discourse up.